fantastic instructors and their fellow youth leaders. A very good afternoon to one and all. Good afternoon. Today, I, Shashwat K. Levin, am going to speak on positive attitude. An attitude is a hypothetical construct of the various degrees of likes or dislikes of a person about something. Attitudes are generally positive or negative views of a person about a place, thing or event. Attitudes are judgments. Positive attitude helps us to make our life easier and helps us to deal with negative thinking and negative attitudes. If we adopt it as a way of life, then it will bring several constructive changes into our lives and make our moments happier, brighter and more successful. With a positive attitude, we will become more optimistic, look at the bright side of life and expect the best to happen. It is certainly a state of mind that is worth developing and strengthening. A positive attitude can change your whole life. It can fill your life with an entire light. This light affects not only you and the way you look at the world through your eyes, but also the people as well as the environment around you. If it is strong enough, then it becomes contagious. There are several ways of adopting a positive attitude. These are choose to be happy, choose to and remain optimistic, share your thoughts with others, master, learn to master your thoughts, try to find more reasons for smiling more often, read inspiring quotes, read inspiring stories, learn concentration, associate yourself with happy people. A positive attitude is a mental attitude which fills the mind with images which are conductive to growth, expansion and success. A positive mind always expects a positive outcome of every event. Whatever the mind finds, it expects. The following story can describe the above phenomenon. Alan applied for a new job, but as his self-esteem was low, he felt that he was not prepared for the job, that the other applicants were better qualified and more prepared than he was. On the morning of the job interview, he woke up late and to his horror discovered that the shirt which he was planning to wear was dirty and the other one needed ironing. And as a result, because it was too late, he went out wearing a shirt full of wrinkles. At the job interview, he displayed a negative attitude, was tense, was hungry since he did not have enough time to eat breakfast and as a result, he materialized his fear and consequently did not get the job. Jim, on the other hand, applied for the same job too, but approached the matter in a completely different way. On the week preceding the interview, he often visualized himself making a good impression at the interview and getting the job. On the evening before the interview, he ironed his clothes and went to sleep a little earlier than usual. In the morning of the interview, he got up a little earlier than usual, had ample time to use to eat breakfast, made a good impression at the interview and was able to get the job. So what do we learn from these two stories? Is there any magic employed here? No, of course not. It's all natural. When we are happy and when the mind is positive, we entertain certain feelings, thoughts and words which are pleasant and therefore see in our mind's eye as to what we really would like to happen. We really ask our mind to do what we want to do. All of us in one way or the other affect the people whom we meet through our thoughts, through our feelings and through our words, transference. If people make a good impression on us too, through their thoughts and vice versa. Is it therefore any wonder that people would like to be around others who are positive? No, it is not. People are more disposed to help us and people who are positive than others who broadcast negativity. When 
the mind is negative, unhappy thoughts and feelings are spread all over the mind. And poison hormones such as tevatotate are cast into the blood. These things make our mind unstable and therefore we are not able to constitute on what we do. This is the way to failure, stressfulness and disappointment as well as frustration. What we try to do, we must have a positive attitude towards, towards it and therefore only then can we achieve success. So my dear friends, do try to be positive in whatever you do and will certainly succeed and come up in life. As all good things come to an end, so does my speech. I hope my worthy audience agrees to my speech and therefore I hereby conclude my speech.